Okay, so I've gone over a lot of finishes on the mat here. So let's say the guy brings us up. Let's say I do get in on the shot. He's yanking me up, he's yanking me up, or I'm reaching far across, I'm getting in bad position by being too extended. I gotta bring this guy up. So I'm gonna go over what I do in this situation once um, my position becomes compromised. See here? Get here, in good position. I clamp, maybe he brings my leg back down. He's pulling up on my uh, elbow here. I don't have much control. I gotta go into this guy and bring him up to his feet, okay? So I get here, I'm on post, bringing him up to his feet here, okay? Very important once I get here that I'm in good position. Position is key to your success, okay? What you don't want is you don't want this, okay? A lot of room for him to escape here. All he has to do is turn and kick, the leg is gone. So once I bring this leg up here to my feet, clamp. Okay, I should be able to touch my, the other side of my rib with my hands here if I'm clamping correctly. Okay, so once I get in this position here, I wanna, I'm facing his hips right now, but once I secure the leg, I go to finish, my hips are gonna be facing the wall. I'm gonna be facing away from my opponent, and that's because I'm going to do a trip here. All right, there's two mechanics. I'm gonna underhook here, I'm gonna kick at the same time. Okay, this might take some practice for you to get it down, but this is very, very effective against some of the best guys around the world. So I'm facing him here with my hips. Now I know I got the leg secure. I'm gonna do an underhook here. I'm gonna kick behind his uh, ankle here to trip him. And it's very important that I let this guy fall before me so I can cover him without giving up points myself. So here, cover, okay? And I want to try to keep this ankle for as long as I can. Once I bring him down, I want to keep the ankle. And then once I secure this, this position, then I could maybe transfer over here, look in the chop, transition to my arms, arm bars, or whatever you use on top. So we get this leg back up. I'm going to underhook here, like I'm punching, like an like a uppercut. If you guys ever play video games, Street Fighter, I'm going to uppercut and I'm going to kick at the same time. Here, he falls, then I cover. So what we want to go over here is the proper mechanics to bringing a guy up to his feet. A lot of times guys will get on a good shot, they want to bring the guy up to their feet, what they want to do is they want to start pulling and they tend to lose the leg. So realistically you want to go into the guy in order to use your momentum to score. So I get in on the shot here, I'm in good position here, okay? Now he reacts and pulls that leg away from me, or he gets his deep whizzer, he's putting me in a compromising position, and I can't really finish how I want to. On the mat, bring him up to his feet, change the position up, okay? What a lot of guys will do is, they'll try to go here and pull here, and, and Albert will, will come to his feet, maybe reach for my hands and break my hands, bring his feet back to the mat, I lose everything. What I want to do though, is I want to go into him. I want to go into him using my weight and his weight against him. Okay, so I'm here, I'm having a hard time finishing here, I'm still clamped, head's tight to the body, I'm gonna start going into him, bringing him up to his feet. Now once we get here to our feet, secure. Okay, like we talked about, we want to make sure we're elbow deep. Elbow deep here on our finish here, Hips facing him as I'm doing that. Now I've secured it, I'm ready to finish. Hips turning this way, and that gives me that momentum to punch here, okay? Secure, hip throw this way, I'm tripping at the same time. So all together, here, he falls over top, looking to cover, getting control. 